whose idea was one ply toilet paper? I want to know whose it was. I don't understand what the deal is with one ply. I don't really understand who decided that it was going to come up with it. I just don't get it. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me that somebody thought that it was going to be cute or funny or rational to try to make one ply toilet paper and it's like a scrap of tissue paper that you use to stuff gift bags with and I don't understand why it takes 22 and 23 squares of one ply to equal two ply. Last I checked, one plus one equaled two. But now all of a sudden, one plus 22 equals two and I don't understand why why people got to be poking holes all in their toilet paper and making messes and spending all this money on stuff and it's not even good enough to TP somebody's house with. You can't even TP a tree with one ply toilet paper. Why are they making that stuff? And as soon as you try to tear it off, you can only get like one square at a time. That mess is so doggone annoying. I'm thinking like I've been in the bathroom for 20 doggone minutes just trying to wipe my butt because you got this one ply toilet paper. Y'all need to get it together. Get it together. I'm sick of one ply toilet paper. In my opinion, I think the one ply toilet paper should be against the law. It should be. Because I don't know what it's good for. You can't blow your nose with it. You can't wipe your butt with it. You sure enough can't clean with it. I wouldn't even trust trust it to, to pop pimples with or nothing. I mean, maybe if you nick yourself while shaving, but it's really not absorbent. I mean, the stuff is terrible. Who came up with this mess? And then don't let it be one ply toilet paper that's so rough that you feel like you are wiping your butt with a regular piece of paper. And now you got paper cuts all on your butt cheeks. And you're trying to walk around looking crazy all day because your butt cheeks is raw and then don't let you get a little sweaty or something now it's burning and stuff y'all need to get it together whatever these cheap lines of toilet paper are i'm sick of wiping my butt with cheap toilet paper that ain't worth no good and you know what? I, while i'm on a rant about toilet paper i'm sick of super thick toilet paper too because uh what is that charmin and cottonelle y'all need to sit it down wiping my butt with y'all's toilet paper is like wiping your butt with a dish towel or a wash a washing towel or, or or like a pair of jeans or something that mess is so thick it's the thickest toilet paper i have ever seen in my whole life and i'm sick of it i'm sick of it that mess is too doggone thick i feel like i'm wiping my butt with a freaking puppy how am i supposed to wipe my butt with a puppy get it together get it together i'm if it's on sale I'm still not going by it. But I will say, though, them thick ones that are like uh, that, the towel situation would be excellent for toilet paper in somebody's yard. Because, I mean, I don't care what type of water you put on that. It's not dissolving anytime soon. That's some serious stuff. But um, that's my rant for the week. This is Linwood. Uh, for those of y'all who are not subscribers, uh, I expect you to click the subscribe button right over there. Click it. Click it. Thank you. So, uh, if you're already a subscriber, go ahead and share these videos with your friends. I usually do them weekly, but I have been super swamped with stuff, so I may go to bi-weekly or uh, whenever. Uh, I don't know. I will be soon starting up another channel that's devoted to uh, uh, hair, beauty, health, things like that, because as many of you may or may not know, I am a licensed hairstylist, and I want to make sure that you guys are looking as great as possible on a regular basis. So stick with me. I will let you know more about that as it comes. And uh, until next time, take care. God bless. I love you. And bye. Uh, for this one of my good tales. I'm not. I'll say I need some toilet paper.